Happy Sunday, YouTube family, YouTube friends. Today, I am back with six work from home job leads. These come and reach out to me and they are willing to train you. Plus, you can make up to $1,800 per week. Also, if you need help um, with utility bills, paying your utility bills or you need food, or maybe you may need a free laptop or low cost laptop, I'm going to show you an organization that will help you out for free. Also, if you need free training to up your skills and make you more valuable, there's organization organizations out there that I'm going to show you. Plus, I want to read a prayer to you because prayer changes things. Prayer is like a key that will unlock doors that you thought you would never walk through. So I want to read a prayer with you. And then also, I tell you all the time is to stop paying somebody to do your resume or paying for resume template. I'm going to show you a great tool that is going to optimize your resume. I'm going to walk you step by step. So watch the video all the way through. Again, you know that I get excited every time when I share my screen because I feel that God has a job out there for everyone for those who want to partake. You just have to get out of your comfort zone and take action today. Remember, these jobs are no talking work from home job leads, as well as some customer service jobs are mixed in there too. So the first job that we're going to be talking about is Health Team Advantage. They're seeking provider data entry specialists to work remotely. Even though it says this city and state, I always reach out to hiring managers and recruiters before I do videos to make sure. They say, yes, you have to be living in this state, but they will consider you even if you don't live in the state, as long as you're in the 50 states. Now, they do not list the salary, so I always take upon myself to research when I'm uncertain about anything. And the salary that I came up with is anywhere between 42912 all the way up to 93618 a year. Because you can see here, it says the average annual pay of provider data specialists in the United States is 75288 a year. So I'm starting off with the low, which is 42912 all the way up to 93618 which is between 20 to $45 an hour, okay? Now, when we dive in a little bit deeper, about um, what you're going to be doing here is basically the provider data entry will be responsible for entering and maintaining large amounts of provider demographic and credential data from various sources and to the computers or to the company's provider database and maintain the accuracy and uh, cureness, currentness of the data. Other supportive assignment will be assigned as identified, such as audits and special projects. So when you when you break it down a little bit deeper, um, basically what you're going to do is pull monthly reporting to identify expiring certifications, license, professional liability insurance, etc., and complete outreach to obtain current updated documentation and information. And when we go down a little bit further, you're going to make recommendations to the provider oversight committee based on research and contract as requested or approved. And then it only requires a social degree in business or other related field or three or more years equivalent healthcare work experience. Again, don't let that scare you. If you walk in in the favor of God, God can allow different hiring managers, recruiters to overlook a lot of things. So step out on faith, renew your mind and renew your spirit and go out there and grab what the Lord has for you today. Day. And if this is something that you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply today for these type of jobs. These jobs, they move very quickly. All you need to do is click right here where it says apply for this job. This is job number one. Now we're down to job number two is with mathematical. They're seeking nutrient research assistant to work from home. And when we scroll down, the first thing that I'm looking for is the salary, how much I'm going to get paid. Let me go all the way back up because I know that I missed the salary up here because I know that they list it. Um, it talks about the rate it, of this position is $19 an hour. Okay. Now, again, what you need to know is this position starts in early November 2024 and will likely last through October 2025 with the possibility of continued work on other studying tasks for additional months. Position requires a minimum of commitment of 24 hours per week and scheduling is flexible between 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mondays through Friday, with an opportunity for more flexible hours outside these times as the work progress, okay? Now, again, they're seeking a part-time temporary nutrient research assistant for a nationwide study that is assessing the nutrient quality and cost of meals served in schools. And when you dive in a little bit deeper to kind of get an ideal, um, it's just a nutrient resource 
research assistant will be responsible for entering food purchase data received from schools into a database and finalize data in a food coding system. So that is a really, really easy, easy job. Now it talks about it requires a bachelor's degree or prior experience with food service or nutrient studies, degree in nutrient um, dietary or related field preferred. That means if you have it, that's great. If you don't, don't worry about it. Excellent computer skills, including proficient with navigating online computer programs, excellent written and verbal communication skills. But if this is something that you want to do, make sure you go ahead and apply today by clicking here. This is job number two. Now, job number three is with the company health team. We talked about this, but again, it is a different position. If they're hiring for intake specialists, utilization, review, even though it says Greensboro, North Carolina, I reach out to hire manager. As long as you're in the 50 states, you're eligible to uh, apply. They do not list a salary. So I take upon myself to research. I came up with anywhere between 35,360 a year, all the way up to 50,000 a year. And that is between 17 and $24 an hour. Okay. Now when we dive in on what you're going to be doing every single day is you're going to perform high level of data entry with minimal errors, ensure that overall data of documents received are entered into a computer system accurately. Also, you're going to have the ability to multitask and pay attention to details in an environment with frequent interruption. You're going to have the ability to meet and maintain productive metrics. And then when you go down a little bit further, it talks about, you know, being responsible for following all compliance requirements for turnaround time, notification to provide a member, accuracy, completeness, and maintaining HIPAA. And then you're going to demonstrate a high level of critical thinking and detail orientation. And then it says handle a level of inbound and outbound phone calls with excellent customer service. And then the education is a social degree or equivalent. And then one year full-time in healthcare office support office setting. And if this sounds like something that you're able to do, then all you need to do is click right here where it says apply for this job. This is job number three. Okay. Remember, I'm giving you a mixture of customer service jobs as well as no talking work from home job leads. This channel is all about non-phone work from home job leads, but I do throw customer service out there too as well. Now the third, the fourth job, I'm sorry, the fourth job is with the company Maximus. They're seeking clinical administrative coordinator to work remotely. And when I scroll down, I am looking to see if I can find the salary for this position here. I'm going to scroll all the way down and see if they list the salary. The salary is between $18 an hour all the way up to $22.29 an hour. Now, when we go back up to just to see what you're going to be doing on this job here, Okay. The clinical administrative coordinator will handle administrative tasks such as answering help desk phone, responding to emails, contacting providers, reviewing details, documentation, inputting information from providers, staff, and hospitals. This is a remote position, must be available to work Mondays through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time schedule. Okay. Now, they got great benefits like a work-life balance support, flexible, tailored to your needs, competitive compensation, bonus based on performance included. So bonus is included. Comprehensive insurance coverage like medical, dental, vision, prescription. And then they also have um, planning or prepare for a 401k plan. Um, when you go down here, recognition platform, acknowledge and appreciate outstanding employee contributes, and then tuition reimbursement, invest in your ongoing education and development. They will pay for um, your training, your education. And then when you go down here a little bit further, they break it down. Um, you're going to be responsible for assigning and coordinating referrals for contracts, work to appropriate parties, computer data entry, complete assignment with established compliance standards and timelines. And when you go down, it only requires a high school diploma or equivalent minimal of two years of relevant experience or associate degree with minimal one year of relevant experience, minimal of three years of customer service experience preferred. And they want you to know Microsoft Office. Remember, you go to Microsoft 365 training where you can learn this for free. And if this is something you want to do, all you need to do is scroll down or you can go up. Let's go all the way up and hit that apply button, okay? Even though it says Wednesday, August the 14th, 2024, it is still current. Here's the apply button. Again, explore within the company. Hit these three uh, lines here. There's other jobs out there that you can apply for to increase your chances of getting a job. This is opportunity number four. 
Now, opportunity number five is with United Health Group. They always are hiring. They always have different positions available. They're hiring right now for senior clinical administrative coordinator to work remotely in Central Standard Time. Okay. Now, even though it says Dallas, Texas, according to hiring managers and recruiters, as long as you're in the 50 states, you're eligible to apply. They do not list the salary. So I take upon myself to research when I'm uncertain. And I came up with the starting salary is $46,542. It could be more. And that's $22 an hour. When we dive in a little bit deeper about um, what you're going to be doing on this particular job. Again, this is a full-time position and you are required to have flexibility to work between 8 to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time with flexibility to work until 7 p.m. two days a week. It may be necessary given the business need to work occasion over time. They do offer training, which is paid training. They offer four weeks of paid training. The hours of training will be based on your schedule or will be discussed on your first day of employment. OK, so the primary responsibility is you're going to work with clinical care team right here to support patient and provider engagement. You're going to also support patients by scheduling PCP appointments on their behalf. You're going to prepare patient case and workflow management platform for care team patients engagement. When we go down a little bit further, it only requires a high school diploma or GED. You must be 18 years of age or older, two years of experience working with medical terminology. Don't let that scare you. Go into a um, search bar in Google and type in medical terminology and add video at the end of it. There's going to be tons of videos that's going to walk you through. You just need to know the basics because they're going to train you anyway. Two years of prior medical healthcare experience in a hospital, pharmacy, or physician office providing clinical or administrative assistant. Now, if this sounds like something that you're able to do, make sure you go ahead and apply. You need to reside within central time zone. Go ahead and take advantage of this. These type of jobs move very quickly. So you can go ahead and apply by clicking here. This is job number five. Okay. Now we're down to job number six is with this company, Activist Connect. They're seeking remote benefits request specialist virtual to work remotely. Okay. Now I'm scrolling down to see how much I'm going to get paid. The salary is between $15 and 25 cents per hour during training. And it's $17 per hour once you reach production. Okay. Now when we go up a little bit further and what you're going to be doing here is they're seeking a dedicated and knowledgeable inbound call center agent to join their team and provide exceptional customer service and support regarding employee benefits, 401k plans, and payroll inquiries. The ideal candidate should possess excellent communication skills, a strong attention to details, and a solid understanding of benefits administration and payroll processing. This Role involves addressing customers' queries and resolving concerns and assisting employees with accurate information to ensure their overall satisfaction. Okay, so that is basically what you're going to be doing. It only requires a high school diploma or equivalent, proven experience in a customer service or call center role, ideal focus on employee benefits, 401k plans, or payroll inquiries. And they're looking for someone that has detailed or with excellent organization and multitask ability. And if this sounds like something that you're able to do, go ahead and apply. The, the benefits that they have is pay time off, community time, referral program, dental and vision insurance, health insurance, and completely remote work. Okay. And it's talking about you would need to have your own equipment for this position. Again, if you're looking for laptops or computers, watch the video all, all the way through. I'm going to show you a free organization that will either give you a free laptop or a low cost laptop. Okay. So if this is something that you want to do, all you need to do is scroll down like I'm doing and fill out the application. They do have, it says Actors Connect does not hire in these states at this particular time, okay? So I just want to throw that out there. Just because they're not hiring right now, that doesn't mean that in the future that they won't hire. Just, you know, keep out here, you know, um, keep it going, okay? But they do offer um, training in it because it's asking you a question, can you attend virtual online paid training, okay? So this is job number six. Now, you know that I'm always going to talk about this in my videos. Excuse me, let me get some water right quick. I do apologize. But you know that I know that it's a lot of people that are struggling and living paycheck to paycheck. Some people are having a hard time finding jobs right now, so they need some help right now. 
So I always pray and ask God to show me what I need to do because I want to lead to God's understanding, not my own understanding. And this is what God showed me is organization to help people. If you're in need of, of a free laptop or a low cost laptop, are you struggling? You don't know what your next meal is going to be. You don't know how you're going to pay your bills. These are great organizations that I have reached out to and they are willing to help you. You can go through United Way 211. They provide free and confidential assistance to connect individuals with local resource for help with utilities, housing, food, and other essential needs. All you need to do is go to their website, 211.org. And again, this is only in the United States. Government system programs, various federal, state, and programs offer financial aid for those struggling with bills, including assistance for housing, utility, food, and health care. You're going to go to benefits.gov. Even the Salvation Army offers various programs to assist you with utility bills, rent, and other emergency financial needs. You go to Salvation Army Assistant. They have a lot of organizations out here that will help you if you're struggling with your bills, whatever the case may be. Just reach out to them and don't be ashamed. Also, L-I-H-E-A-P, which stands for Low Income Home Energy Assistant Program. They help low-income households with their heating and cooling energy costs. So go to this website. Now, when you scroll down here, maybe you may say, I need help with a laptop or a low cost laptop. Here you go. PCS for people. They provide low income individual and families with refurbished computers, internet and digital literacy support. Some of these organizations will help pay for your internet costs too as well. And then the Own It Foundation offer free computers and internet access to low income families with K to 12 students in the United States on a foundation. So go in here and explore all of these organizations and reach out to them and explain your situation. So the first step is visit the website to understand the eligibility criteria for receiving a free or low cost laptop. Follow the application process as outlined by each organization. This may include providing proof of income or need. Always explore local resource and community organization as they may have specific programs for providing technology to those who are in need. Again, if you need this, reach out to me. My email, is in, email address is in the YouTube description bar. Again, like I always say, bear with me because I have a lot of emails, people reaching out to me, and I will get back with you. Also, a lot of people need free training, need help to up their skills. There are a lot of organizations that offer free training in order to get you to the next level where you can gain that experience to work from home. And here are some of the companies here that you can look at. Corsa, they offer free courses from top universities and companies on various topics, including business, computer science, and more. Now, certificates and certification, you will have to pay. Um, EDX provides free courses from universities like Arva and MIT, similar to Corsa. Course can be audited for free, but again, certificates require a fee. So if you're into programming and IT, you can go to Code Academy. They offer free interactive coding, coding class in various program language like Python, Java, JavaScript, and more. The basic courses are free with an option to upgrade for more features. Now, take advantage of this. This is a great opportunity, y'all. You know that I always go and do things so I can see if it's legitimate and work. And it does. I'm, I'm going through HubSpot Academy where it provides free courses and certification in inbound marketing, content marketing, social media marketing, and more. And I'm really enjoying my class. So take advantage of this. I'm going to bring some more free training classes to help you out in order to make you more valuable. But again, if you want this list, reach out to me. I will send it to you. But again, be patient with me. I'm going through a lot of emails. I will get to you. I'm checking my emails every single day, all during the day, responding back to people. So if, this, if you want this list, reach out to me. Also, um, the Lord placed on my heart to write this prayer a couple of years ago. And I have two prayers here because y'all should know by now is that prayer is like a key. It will unlock doors that you never thought that you can walk through y'all. So you have to step out on faith and stop feeling sorry for yourself and get up and walk. So these are two prayers that I have written. God has just placed in my heart and I feel and I know that he's working through me in order to give you this information. And the first one is maybe you're on a job and you're trying to get away from that job. You're asking God to 
get your weight. This is the prayer that you need to have. And like I, y'all know that Jeremiah 29 and 11 is my favorite scripture. That He has a plan for your life. He has a perfect purpose in everybody's life. So this is my favorite scripture. So down here, is another prayer that if you're praying for a remote job, a lot of people are praying for jobs. So this is something that I want to read to you. And again, if this is something that you want, please reach out to me. You can share with everybody you want to know. This is, should be your vitamin C, your vitamin D, because this is what you need. A prayer changes things. Prayer will move mountains. And I want to read this to you. And it says, Dear Heavenly Father, as I come before you this moment of prayer, I want to express my deepest gratitude for your unwavering love and guidance in my life. You know the desire of my heart, and today I bring you my longing to find a remote job. I humbly ask for your divine guidance and intervention in this quest. You know that the unique circumstance and challenge that have led me to seek a remote opportunity. I trust in your plan for my life and believe that you have a purpose for me in every step I take. Grant me the wisdom to search for opportunities diligently, the patient to wait for the right door to open, and the discernment to recognize the path that aligns with your will. May I be equipped with the skills and qualification needed to stand out in the application process. As I navigate the journey, I ask for your peace and fill my heart knowing that you are in control. Strengthen my faith in times of uncertainty and help me to remember that you are a God who provides, who opens doors, and who leads us to the place we never imagined. Help me to remain persistent and determined, yet open to your redirection. If it is not the path you have attended for me, may I always trust that your timing is perfect, even when it doesn't align with my own. In this pursuit, I also pray for the encouragement to step out of my comfort zone and embrace my embrace new opportunities that may come my way. May I be open to learning, growing, and adapting to new challenges. I commit my desires, fears, and hopes into your loving hands. May you guide me to the remote job that not only meets my needs, but also allows me to use my talents for your glory. Thank you for your love, your provision, and your grace. In Jesus' name, I pray. Y'all, this is a prayer that you need to meditate on day and night. And again, if you want this prayer, reach out to me. Prayer is like a key. It will unlock doors that you thought that you could never, ever enter. If you need this prayer, reach out to me. Okay? You know, I tell you in all of my videos, stop paying people to do your resume for you. Stop buying resume template. You can literally do this for yourself. Earn better is 100% free. It's free 99. Take advantage of this. The great thing about earn better, all you have to do is sign up. I've been using earn better over eight months now, and it is free. I have never had to pay the penny and you can find jobs on here. Yes, you can find remote jobs on here. You can search, but I ask you to do your own research for a peace of mind. Um, all I tell you is to make sure that you always apply on the company website. You can also track the jobs that you apply for all the jobs that you apply for. It tracks it here um, as well as when you do interviews, it will keep a track of it. And speaking of interviews, um, if you know, a lot of times people don't have anybody to role play this platform will role play with you. Like whatever job that you're applying for, it has start practicing, right? And if somebody on the other end is pre-recorded, they're going to ask you three interview questions at your own pace, tailored to your profile and job, and they will grade your response, provide feedback instantly, and you keep improving. So we're going to take a look at the interview sheet sheet, okay? This is what you need. AI has generated this interview sheet sheet on this company if I was applying for Intuit. They're giving me courses that hiring managers or recruiters will ask me, y'all. It talks about um, the overall company here. Um, there, you can go on LinkedIn and reach out to them as well, too, as well. But these are some of the top interview questions of potential response tailored for this role. What kind of environment do you thrive in? Here's the answers. All you want to do is put it in your own words. Why do you want this job? Why should we hire you? Why are you a great fit for this role? What are your greatest strengths? When you go down a little bit further, they're getting, giving you general basic practice for interview. They're giving you tips and tricks. And then when you go down here, a lot of times 
when people go into interviews and the interviewer asks, do you have any questions? And you're like, no, I don't have any questions. That make you look like that you're not interested in the job. You always, always want to ask them some type of questions like what are the skills and experience you're looking for in an ideal candidate? When you have had someone on the team who has done an outstanding job, what have they typically done for you to think that that? Um, are there any unique expectations for this role? You need to always, always ask questions, y'all. You can download this and save this and have it right beside you, or you can memorize it, okay? It's just up to you, okay? Now, we go to documents. This is where you can do your resume, cover letters, create docs for external jobs, thank you emails. You always want to send a thank you email after you've done an email, I mean, after you've done an interview. You want to always follow up. After you have applied for jobs, maybe two weeks after you apply, you should always want to follow up. But if we go to resumes and I click on resume, OK, so if you need to earn better, you're going to have to sign up and it's free and you're going to upload your resume. You want to always upload your resume as a PDF file. Why? Because it is more readable. It is more to help you pass the applicant tracking system. OK, so you can have your pre-existing resume tailored to earn better. Or you can say, no, I don't have a resume, and you hit save and continue. When I say upload your resume, this is how you do it. You upload it, and again, you want to make sure before you save, save it or wherever you make it at, or use a resume template, it's saved as a PDF file. Or if you don't have a resume, you don't have to worry about it. You can say, um, I don't have a resume. I want to go back because I've been showing you that if you don't have a resume, I've been showing you how to make a resume from scratch. But if you do have a resume and you want to use the resume that you upload, all you need to do is say yes, tailor and sister, or better resume. You can hit save and continue. Now, it's going to always ask you, what job title that you're applying for. Remember, in order to increase your chances and stand out from the crowd is you have to do something that people don't want to do. A lot of people do not want to optimize their resume to the job post. So that's something that you want to do to help increase your chances of getting a job and earn better will do it for you. So I'm going to walk you through step by step. Say, for example, if I was interested in applying for this particular job, provider dating entry. I'm going to copy and paste this job uh, post or job title word for word, and I'm going to go to earn better. You can also type it in if you want to. It's up to you what you want to do. But I choose to copy and paste because I want to make sure I'm passing the applicant tracking system and I hit save and continue. And then it asks you, do you have a job description for this role? If so, please paste it below. We need the full job description to identify relevant keywords and tailor your resume. So I do have it. So basically, it's asking for the company name. So I go back. It's health team. So I'm going to type in health and then team. OK, and I do have the job description. So what I need to do is copy all of this word for word, exactly what I'm going to be doing. I need to copy all of this, what they're asking for. Stop right here, hit copy and then go back to earn better and copy and paste all of this in here. And then once I do that, I have a choice. I can add a cover letter using AI. I can hit save and continue. OK, so it's asking me what resume I want to use. I want to use this resume and I want to hit save and continue. So basically what happened, it looked at the job description that I copy and paste in my resume. And it's stating that I don't have these high impact keywords in my resume. So I need to add this to help increase my chances of passing the applicant tracking system, okay? So I'm going to add all of these words in here because I want to pass the applicant tracking system. I need a job, so I'm going to do all I can the right way in order to get a job. So it's talking about I don't have these relevant skills, so I need to add this into my resume. So I need to add all of that into my resume and hit finish, okay? And it's finalizing, it's adding those keywords into my resume, okay? Now, this is the resume, right? It had add those keywords. Then you go down the bottom, those keywords off in here. OK, so this is the resume template. When I say don't pay anybody to do your resume or don't pay resume template, Earn Better is giving you four resume templates. You don't need nothing fancy. You need something just plain. They're giving you classic, bold, clean and moderate. I say stick with classic and clean. OK, because according to hiring managers and recruiters, 
these type of resume is more readable to pass the applicant tracker system. If you use the bowl or something like that, it's going to throw the applicant tracker system out, you know, out. You can always go in to edit. You can go to content. You can edit your header. You can edit your objective. Maybe you want AI to rewrite this objective for you. It's, I mean, it, it, it re literally wrote it for you. All I want to do is take objective off and, you know, it, it to, it's talking about I'm looking for a provider data entry specialist. It put that information. You remember, I copy and paste this job title and it put it in there for me. OK, so it's basically telling the company what type of job or ATS, um, what type of job that I'm applying for. Provider data entry specialist is a keyword. So say, for example, if hiring manager go on the back end and they type in provider data entry specialist. If I have this in my resume, I'm going to be in the pile of callback or invite. So you want to use these keywords in there, like credential and contract management. That is a keyword, y'all. Data analysis is a keyword. So this objective is full of keywords to help increase my chances of getting a job. You can delete your work experience. You can go in here and edit your work experience. You can add some more work experience. It is that easy, y'all. And it just only took me five minutes or less to complete, y'all. And that's how fast it is. And then it's giving me more suggestions of different jobs that I can apply for. Okay. Now, when I go back, when I say follow up your uh, on your email, you know, two weeks after you apply or a week, it's up to you. You want to always go in here and send a thank you letter. So if I was applying for this job, I want to go in here, copy and paste, and it says, what job title are you applying for? I'm going to paste that, okay? What company are you applying for? Health team, okay? What email you want to use? I want to use uh, Johnny Jones here, and I'm going to hit save and continue, and just watch what it's going to do. So it's the, uh, basically, it says, tell us about the role. Why are you excited about it? I'm excited about this role because the position aligns with my career goals. My skills and knowledge are very relevant. I'm excited about your team. It's new challenge. I'm inspired by the company mission. Other. So you can choose and you hit save and continue. And it is customizing, optimizing your thank you email or follow up email to the job post. So look. If I was sending this to um, a hiring manager recruiter, the subject would be follow up on my provider dating entry specialist application because that is what I applied for. And look what it says. Dear hiring manager, I hope this message found you well. I wanted to follow up on my application for providing data entry specialist position at the health team. I am excited about the opportunity to take on this new challenge and contribute to your team. I believe my skills align well with this role, and I'm eager to bring my expertise to health team. Thank you for considering my application. I look forward to hearing back from you uh, soon. This is something that you need to send after you apply for application. A lot of times, th this is the key. To, if you send something like this, oh, she's interested in this job. I'm going to consider hiring her, okay, or hiring him. So make sure you always do a follow up after you apply for each job. So I say you can do it um, um, in two weeks after you apply. Some people may do it a week. If you need a job, this is something you're going to do. You didn't have to write a, anything. It took you five minutes or two minutes to do this. OK, and all you have to do, you can open an email from here and select it. Um, you can hit finish. And, it, you know, you already had a um, follow up email. Now, what I want you to tell, tell you about resumes, you're only titled to do 15 resumes, okay? Once you get to 15, resume is not going to allow you to do it. All you need to do is the resume that you're not using, you just go here and delete it, and you're able to do a resume. This is very easy, y'all. Very easy. Self-explanatory. Very easy. It would do it for you, y'all. Use the tools that God is giving people and using people and take advantage of this, y'all. This is free 99. I wish I had this when I was looking for a job back in the day, but it's never too late. Take advantage of this. Stop paying people for, for resume templates. People get on this platform and they are charging resume templates. And as you can see, a resume template just only put your resume, uh, make it neat. But that's not going to help you pass the applicant tracker system. What is going to help you get a job is optimizing your resume to the job post. Do things that other people are not doing. Set yourself apart 
and you're going to get a job. Okay. You got to step out on faith. Believe that God has a job out there for you. Don't get disencouraged. Be encouraged, y'all. I've been there. I know what it's like. God has a job out there for you. Okay. Now, you know that if this video has been helpful, what I want you to do is hit that like button as well as leave a comment. I do respond to all my comments. I'm not like a lot of other people. YouTubers get out here and you leave a comment and they do not respond. They may give you a heart and call it a day. They may say little short things, but I'm out there writing you a whole paragraph because you're my YouTube family. You're my YouTube friends. Also subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to build a community where we can uplift and encourage one another on our job search and everyday life. And if you want to be a part of the ride, you have to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share these videos on your social media platform so more and more people can see what I have to offer each and every single day because I'm here to help y'all to the best of my knowledge. I'm not here to charge anything or um, sell anything to you. I'm here to help you. My blessings come from helping you. And when people are getting jobs, I know that I've done what the Lord asked me to further to do. Again, like I tell you on every single day is start yourself out with a devotional. I got this on Amazon here. And I like this because like I told you earlier, it says, for I know the plans I like Jeremiah. I love the scripture, Jeremiah 29 and 11. And this is just, I can read it to you again, like I always do. It's where I know the plans I have for you, declare the Lord, the plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope in the future, Jeremiah 29 and 11. And in this book, all you need to do is go by today's date, you know, and they have things that you can read for in the morning and at night. You need to have the word of God in your heart because we're dealing with so many people out here that are evil. You have a choice to do right. You have a choice to do wrong. And a lot of people are choosing wrong over right. You know, but one thing on that day, I know that every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess and everybody's going to give account of what they've done, whether if it's good or bad. So each and every day that God is allowing you to wake up. We need to repent and ask God, if I said anything or did anything that's not pleasing in your sight, I ask for forgiveness. God, bless me with a job. You know, when I'm worried and I'm down you, I'm saying that I don't trust you, but I do trust you. I trust. That's why I say every day when I get up before I make videos, I have a I get up and I read the word of God and I pray and I say, God, I want to lean to your understanding, not mine. Guide me. Lead me. Give me the words to say and how to say things. And God just working through me. I'm telling you, I know what it's like living paycheck to paycheck, being rejected. Didn't know where my next meal going to come. Didn't know how we're going to pay our bills. And when you're going through the storms of life, nobody is there for you. Not so, Most of the time, majority of the family is not going to help you. They wrote you off. Your so-called friends wrote you off. You find out who your true friends are when you get down. You find out who's going to be there for you. And you find out that the only person going to be there for you is God. That's it. That is the only person that's going to be there to help you and take you to the next level. Okay? When you down, nobody's around. But when you up, everybody wants to be around you and everything. But you got to understand in life, when God is taking you to the next level, everybody can't go with you. You know, God has told you, to, hey, take this ship or this boat. I want you to go to this direction. But a lot of us want to stop and put mama on the ship, grandma, cousins, auntie, everybody on the ship. And your boat has sunk, sunken and you cannot go to the destination that God has for you. Everybody can't go where God has for you. Stop explaining yourself to people. I used to explain myself to people where people ask me, why you do it this way? Why? Some people, mine is so thick like a wall where you can't get nothing through them, through them. It's not meant for them to know. If God wanted them to know, he would have did a two-way call where you on the line, that other person's on the line. So stop explaining yourself to people why you're doing things. You do not have to explain nobody, nothing to nobody, but to God. Because like I said, on that day, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess and everybody is going to give account of what they've done, whether it is good or bad or not. I don't worry about what people do. You got a lot of people worry about what other folks are doing. Um, what's, what did this pastor do? Why this pastor do? I worry about my life because when we die, we got to go before the Lord and give account of what we've done. Treat people right because you reap what you sow. If you sow good seeds, good seeds are going to come your way. If you sow bad seeds, it's, it, 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 the bad seeds, you reap what you sow. I'm here. Like I said, my parents raised me right. 
is when you do good by people, good gonna come back to you. I'm not up here clickbaiting. I'm not a scammer. This is the real person. If you saw me in person, this is how I am. I don't come up here and put on an act, be fakery. That's not me. That's why I show my face because you can tell what type of person I'm in am in a few seconds. You know, that's why I show my face. I'm the real deal and I'm not here to brag. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm not in here. I'm here to help you. This is what God want me to do is help you. I have helped people that don't even live in the United States, gave them organizations in Jamaica and Nigeria. We're all family. You know what I'm saying? We're all a child of God. We're all family and I'm here to help you as much as I can. But you got to do your part. You got to encourage yourself. You got to believe in yourself. When you, when you fall down, don't stay down. A lot of y'all, when you get down, you want to stay down and cuddle up in the bed. Get up and fight. Run the race. You know, God is saying on your mark, get set, go. And a lot of people don't want to finish the race. They get tired when they get rejection. Rejection is a part of life, but it's not the end of the world. No, I don't mean no. It means next opportunity. You know, you got to get out there and make it happen. Stop being a procrastinator. Be a doer. Stop talking about it and be about it. Stop being on the sideline and get it in the game and apply for the jobs. Because you know, for one thing, at the end, you will win. Keep pushing. Pushing means praying till something happens. Like I always say, prayer is the key to unlock the doors that you thought that you could never enter. Keep praying. Don't worry about what people are going to say. People are going to talk regardless if you're doing good and if you're not doing bad. People are going to talk. Know your purpose and why is in life. Because when it gets hard and you want to throw in the towel, you'd be like, if you know your purpose and why, is, be like, I can't quit because I have this to do and I have to do that. Know your purpose and run your race with class. God has a job out there for you. He will provide for you. He is using people like me to tell you, hey, give you these organizations to go out here and get help if you're struggling with your bills and you leaving paycheck to paycheck. We need encouragement words. It's so much stuff that's going on in this world and we need positive people in our life. Surround yourself around positive, peaceful people. If people don't have your back, you got to say bye. You got to go. We're in the last days and we want peace, not confusion, because in the word of God, it says God is not the author of confusion. He's a peace and you want to create a peaceful environment. Get out there and grab what the Lord has for you. He has a plan. He has a purpose. He has a job out there for you. But you got to trust the process. Thank you so much for watching and many blessings to each and every one of y'all. And I pray that whatever you desire in your heart, it shall be given in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.